Hi guys, my name is Ki Hyun Lee and I'm here to tell you about the top five places worth visiting in Europe. Now, first off is France. Uh, first off is Paris in France. Paris is a city of art and culture and there are many places to visit. But as you can see, the most famous ones are probably the Louvre Museum and the Eiffel Tower. First off, the Louvre Museum. It is a museum constructed in oh, was it? Oh, never mind that. Uh, it was a world famous museum and in 2012 it was visited by 2.7 million visitors. It was a very large museum and probably the world's most visited annually, annually visited museum. Its, it's collection increased a lot by Napoleon. Now next up is the Eiffel Tower. Erected at, 90, at the year 90, 1889, it was named after Alexander Gustavo Eiffel, who designed the tower. At the time when it was being constructed, it was opposed by many, uh, many leading artists of France because they thought it would be weird for a steel tower to appear out of nowhere in the middle of France. Okay, now make sure to visit this place because it is now a world, the, one of the world's most famous and visited places. Next up is London in England. And especially this thing, this thing is the London Eye. <coughs> it's other, also known as the Millennium Wheel. It is located at South Bank of River Thames. This is the Europe's most tallest Ferris wheel and it has annually 2,000, 2, 2.5 million visitors annually. It is, a world, it is a world famous thing, so make sure to visit it. Now next is the Regent Street and Oxford Street. You may think weird, but if you're a tourist, you want you naturally want to go shopping, right? Now this street is famous. Is uh, how do I say this? A major shopping street, and it is located at the west end of London. It is well known for its Christmas illuminators, and also it was the early examples of the city planning. I mean the town planning of England. Now, if you're not sure where to visit uh, in the street, you may want to go to go to the All Souls Church, All Souls Church, which, which is the only remaining building since 1882. Also, the Apple Store, Cafe Royal, Dickens and Jones, and many other places. Just look around a lot, and you'll love it. Next up is Rome. Rome is the city of history and. Also, the home of the Great Roman Empire, as you all know. Now, this picture is the picture of the Colosseum. As you can see, it, you can see that this picture, the Colosseum, uh, symbolizes the Rome itself, the Rome's power, its dignity and power. The Colosseum, in the Colosseum, a lot of fighters called gladiators were put into fights against each other, against animals like lions. It is a very famous site, and you may want you really want to visit it. Next up is the Roman Forum ruins. It was the, as I said before, it is the center of Roman public empire, and yeah, many things happened here. It's just beautiful, you can see. It. Well, but there's not much to say about this, so let's move on. Next is Spain. The you know. Until now, I picked several cities and countries like Paris in France and Rome, Rome in Italy. But Spain itself is a city of art and culture, so there's no specific place to see visit. Although, if I had to pick one, it'd be Barcelona. This is Sagrada Familia, and it was designed by Gaudi. It started construction in 1882, and it is still in construction. It is planned to, fi to finish in 2026. It was, very it was a very large Roman Catholic, Catholic church and probably the world's most largest Catholic church like that. Next is the Casamela. This was also designed by Gaudi, the professional designer and the world's leading designer. It was built between 1906 and 1910. Also, it was named World Heritage by uh, 1984. You can see the flows that the buildings make and you may want to visit this place. Now last, last is Switzerland. This is uh, the 
country itself is the what's Hada Phoenix? A country of nature and let's say modern nature. Yeah, you can enjoy a many kind of sport and in this picture if you see it, in the next picture, this is a very grand scene and it was created by icebergs sliding down the mountain and you know, making those curves and stuff. If you want to visit this, this place, if you are willing to get refreshed and breathe, breathe, breathe uh, fresh air and stuff, you can, you know, do sports like from starting from mountain climbing to many stuff like that. So yeah, you may want to visit the, visit the five places I just mentioned to you. And that's the end of my informative speech. Thank you.